Hi, my name is Deborah Sprang, a tax return preparer for over 20 years. I passed the CPA exam, but did not work under a CPA and went out on my own instead. I have earned the enrolled agent designation, an IRS approved credential, which requires me to take continuing education classes yearly to maintain my license. If you haven't watched the four previous videos aired so far, you may wish to look at them by searching under my name, Deborah Sprang. In those videos, I talked about filing statuses, dependents, and several sources of income, namely interest and dividends, wages, and self-employment income. Today, I'm discussing a few of the credits available to wage earners and self-employed people who have children, namely the child tax credit or CTC, the additional child tax credit or ACTC, and the other dependents credit, ODC. Note, I would like to point out that these credits are different from and in addition to the credit for child and dependent care expenses and the earned income credit that you may also be eligible to claim, which will be discussed in a later video. So now on to the child tax credit and the additional child tax credit. A child qualifies you for the child tax credit if the child meets the following conditions. One, the child is your son, daughter, stepchild, foster child, brother, sister, stepbrother, stepsister, half-brother, half-sister, or descendant of any of them. Number two, the child was under age 17 at the end of 2022. The child must be under 17 for all of 2022. Number three, the child didn't provide over half of the child's own support for 2022. Number four, the child lived with you for more than half of 2022. Number five, the child is claimed as a dependent on your return. Number six, the child doesn't file a joint return for the year, only, only if it's to claim a refund of withheld income tax or estimated tax pay. And number seven, the child was a U.S. citizen, U.S. national, or U.S. resident alien. The maximum amount you can claim for a dependent under the child tax credit is $2,000. The maximum for the additional child tax credit is $1,500 per child. The child tax credit, additional child tax credit, and other dependents credit are figured on Form 8812 and is attached to your Form 1040. The child dependent credit and the other dependents credit are figured in Part 1, and the additional child tax credit is figured in Parts 2A, 2B, and 2C. I'd like to pause here to clarify that even though the child tax credit and the other dependents credits are both calculated in Part 1 of Form 8812, these two credits are not allowed at one time for the same dependent. Either the child tax credit and or the additional child tax credit appear on on the return together or the other dependents credit alone is allowable for the same child. If no child tax credit or additional child tax credit is available for the same child, then the other dependents credit may be allowable by itself but never in combination with one or both of the other credits. So to continue on with Form 8812, when you reach line 12 in part one, you will find out if you can take the additional child tax credit. Before figuring your additional child tax credit in part 2A, complete your form 1040 through line 27 and also schedule three through line 11. And as a side note, if you file form 2555, you cannot claim the additional child tax credit. For each child for whom you are claiming the child tax credit or additional child tax credit, you must check the child tax credit box in column four of the dependence section on page one of the form 1040 for the child. So if your child is not under 17 and the child tax credit and the additional child tax credit are not possible, the other dependents credit for other dependents may apply. 
The ODC is for individuals with a dependent who meet the following conditions. The person is claimed as a dependent on your return. The child cannot be used to claim the child tax credit or the additional child tax credit, as mentioned before. And the child must be a U.S. citizen, a U.S. national, or U.S. resident alien. For each dependent for whom you are claiming the other dependents credit, you must check the credit for other dependents box in column four of the dependents section on page one of form 1040. Once you have completed form 8812, the child tax credit or the other dependents credit is carried on to line 19 of form 1040 and the additional child tax credit is carried to line 28 on form 1040. See the next slide. One important thing to note is if you or your spouse, if filing jointly, do not have a social security number or an identification, a taxpayer identification number issued on before the due date of your 2022 return, including extensions, you cannot claim these credits on either an original or an amended 2022 return. Likewise, if you have a qualifying child who does not have a required social security number, you cannot use this child to claim any of these credits, either on the original or the amended 2022 return. If your child does not have a social security number but has some other taxpayer identification number, you may be able to claim the other dependents, other dependents credit for the child. Also, expect a delayed refund for returns claiming the additional child tax credit. The IRS cannot issue refunds before mid-February 2023 for returns that properly claim the additional child tax credit. This time frame applies to the entire refund, not just the portion associated with the additional child tax credit. And then the last item I wanted to mention that should help you in preparing your return is that first, the standard mileage rate for business use of a vehicle is 58.5 cents for the first half of 2022 and 62.5 cents for the second half of 2022. Second, the business meals deduction is 50% of the cost of meals taken with a business purpose in 2022, down from the 100% deduction allowed in 2020 and in 2021. The deduction for most entertainment expense has been eliminated with the passage of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. That concludes my talk for today. I hope some of these this information will be useful to you when preparing your tax return or having someone prepare it for you. I am trying to make the information easier to understand and it can be difficult when hearing it for the first time. Please see my contact information on the next slide for any questions. I charge $175 or less for a personal return and $250 for a business return. Thanks for watching.